So I just want to go back a little bit um, before powerlifting. And what were your goals like at that time? Like, were you planning on continuing being an athlete uh, after college? And, and kind of where was your mind at before you, you entered the powerlifting world? Yeah, I mean, like for me, like sports has always been like an integral part of my life. Um, I've always like gravitated, like that's been like, like my go-to, uh, like ever since I was a child, it's been like the thing that I enjoyed the most, um, in life in general, just sports athletics is something I have the biggest passion for. Um, not that I don't have passions for other things, but like I have passions for like sports the most. Um, but yeah, like when I, when I first started powerlifting, really my primary goal was like, just to get to that the next, uh, like landmark uh, lift. So like at that point was like, I, I had not benched 400 pounds yet. Like that was like, like a really big goal of mine. It's like, all right, like let's go hit this 400 pound bench, just preferably in a competition. So it's official. Um, let's go like squat, like 600 pounds. Let's do like all this. Like that was really, I was really short sighted at that point, to be honest. Um, like I knew that relative to other people who were just getting into sport that, I was above, um, like for a first meet, I was, I forget like where I was at the time, but back when I was competing in the 83 kilo class, um, I'm pretty sure I had like a top 10 ranking, like right off the bat. And that was kind of like unheard of, I think. So I didn't really like contextualize that. Uh, I might be mistaken. It was definitely at least top 10 in like my Asia vision. I don't know about the open division though, but, uh, gotcha. yeah. Wow. Yeah. So I was pretty, I was pretty excited about that. And then, uh, kind of just took it like meat by meat, 